What's up guys? Welcome to today's Lego Fortnite video. Today I have something very special for you. I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite ways how to travel around the world of Lego Fortnite fast. But if you guys want more Lego Fortnite videos like this, be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe for more Lego Fortnite tips, guides, and tutorials. There's a couple things I look for when it comes to traveling around the Lego Fortnite world to get to different biomes. That of course is not only can you get there in a fast amount of time but how safe can you get there without having to deal with monsters or dying um, as well as being able to bring resources either with you or you can get resources and bring them back to where you guys come from on top of that making sure that you can get these resources and the resources are safe you're not going to crash and lose all the resources you guys collected there's so many little things that can happen on your journey it would be the worst to lose all your progress by the end of this video i hope you guys learn maybe one or two things i know some of you guys are more advanced players i don't know how long you guys have been playing lego fortnite 4 so some of these you guys probably even know but um anyways though let's get to some of these tips so clearly you guys can just run or sprint. If you guys hold down your sprint button, you guys are gonna start losing your stamina. But this isn't the best ideal way simply because obviously you're only limited to the inventory you guys hold. You guys can't have any chests that come along with you. Even if you guys go to mines or I should say caves or any biomes, you buy a lot of stuff, you can't bring that with you. You can only bring back what's in your inventory. And even your villagers obviously can't bring that stuff back for you as well. So you're very, very limited so it's not ideal just to run across the world and sprint different biomes for the beginning levels obviously you are going to be stuck just running sprinting as well as jumping all right so something you guys have to try it's kind of fun so you guys know when you guys are on a normal jog you guys don't lose any stamina when you guys start sprinting on my left analog stick you guys can see i have a little stamina bar that will go all the way down if of course i am sprinting however though if you guys did not know you can use the dodge mechanic where the dodge will kind of be like a little bit of a roll so it doesn't take away any stamina and actually kind of freezes your stamina too so watch me do this so if i'm just jogging taking away no stamina now i'm gonna go ahead and sprint i'm losing my stamina i'm gonna dodge the stamina kind of freezes it comes back and i can dodge again and i'm just on a nice little roll here so it's a nice little way like a little quick speed burst of a maneuver and you can always dodge forward uh dodge is actually meant to be used for uh, like a defense mechanism when you guys are getting attacked by enemies but you can also do it when you guys are traveling and it makes it a little bit easier especially you guys are going like downhill or something i mean freezes the stamina for a brief second and you can continue to move it's very basic sprinting is very basic as you guys know and the thing is about it you can't carry a lot of stuff with your inventory you're very limited with the amount of items you can carry in your inventory so there's clearly better ways for you guys to go about and travel along in the lego fortnite world if you're looking for a quick way to get around you can also craft a grappling hook if you guys upgrade your crafting table or your crafting bench to a rare crafting bench you guys can unlock the grappler item and this is going to take quite a bit of stuff such as copper blast powder as well as cords i have tutorials how to do this so make sure you guys check out those out on my channel but you can go ahead and craft a grappling hook the only problem with the grappling hook right now is that it is very limited you only have 10 shots with the grappling hook before it disappears however though it's still very nice to get around and you can of course launch it shoot it and fly wherever you guys want to go so the grappling hook is very useful, especially if you guys are, of course, going uphill and you guys want to launch yourself up, but it's only limited to the amount of shots you guys have left. So each grappling hook only has 10 shots. So it's very limited of what you can actually do and how far you can actually go using the grappling hook. That's why I recommend crafting a glider. And this is one of the most OP items you can possibly get on Lego Fortnite. It is the best method to complete and to get so you can actually fly around and travel very fast on like a fortnite what's really cool is the glider will never disappear it's always in your inventory and of course if you guys combine the grappling hook with the glider you guys can latch on to a tree 
deploy your glider and you can fly very very easily like i mentioned though you only have a few shots with your grappling hook so i wouldn't rely solely on your grappling hook make sure you guys use your glider when you guys find an edge but once you guys have your glider i recommend getting a rustic stair zero two it only costs two wood to craft and depending on whatever direction you guys think you guys can be going for some time basically just make a gigantic staircase hold down the snap mode which is l2 or lt if you guys are on xbox or playstation and just make a gigantic staircase once you guys make a gigantic staircase you guys can have a nice aerial view of wherever you guys want to fly to and you can literally fly wherever you guys want to all you have to do is just jump off and deploy your glider and voila you can fly wherever you guys want to go you could have a couple of these staircases throughout the world so no matter what biome you guys are in i recommend having one maybe for each biome so you can deploy it and fly to each biome very very easily and this is by far one of the easiest methods to get around the map quite fast without a lot of resources the biggest resources you're gonna have to get obviously are wood for the staircases as well as have the right equipment and the resources for your glider but this is by far one of the best and easiest ways to get around the map very very quickly this is one way i honestly don't recommend right now is to make cars because cars can be very fragile especially in the world if you guys are able to make wheels as well as get some thrusters you guys can use the car obviously and it'll deploy and it'll start get you guys going but once again you're very limited to only where the thrusters end up going and it's kind of hard to steer to you never know where you're going to end up it is still possible to steer your car you can go very very fast with these things but it's pretty random you don't have a lot of control unless you're just trying to discover new areas i don't really recommend a car Currently, there's really no good way to steer. There are some ways you can steer, I will be honest, where you can like go ahead and break the thrusters and you can kind of rearrange your vehicle so you can add the thrusters on different areas. So let's say, for example, we want to put our thruster on this side of the car, we can, and put the thrusters on the other side and then once again, interact so we can start using the car again. But that's not ideal. I know there are some better vehicles. There's better ways for steering right now, but i would totally avoid this specifically in survival mode because you never really know where you're going to end up going and it's very hard to control this still until there's an update with better steering i do not recommend making any car vehicles there's also ways where you can go ahead and make very easy and simple floating airships if you want to call it one way i like to do it too is if you guys grab a like a workbench or a grill even something kind of light it will actually weigh it down a little bit easily then you can go once again grab some thrusters and put the thrusters on the airship and then you can interact with the airship to tell it what direction you want to go to this is a little bit easier too i mean you can still see a lot more and personally i think it's a little bit better than driving a car it's a little bit less random however though if you guys are trying to float back down you're gonna have to pop these balloons on equal sides just to make it a little bit balanced just so it starts dropping and then you can make your way back on the ground if you guys still want to thrust you guys still can thrust on the way down it makes it a little bit easier but it's kind of like the best way to do it without using too many resources and worrying too much but once again when the spaceship or the airship or the plane lands it's kind of random and you kind of leave it here and it's it works, but it's only really fun for exploring and messing around with it, but it's not too reliable, especially too if you guys plan on getting any sort of inventory, if you guys are going to be farming loot and you guys want some chests to put chests on the airship, you have to keep everything balanced, of course, and it is too much of a hassle once again just like the cars for right now there's going to be some better builds in the future and i'll be happy to upload some more tutorials on airships but for the time being i would avoid airships but personally i made a full tutorial on this i'll link that in the description i think by far the best way to get around the world right now is to make a train or a rail system using just wood and basic materials i made a really nice tutorial for you guys can follow along and obviously you guys can adjust and make it even better but in my opinion it's the best way to go to biome to biome and carry around a lot of storage units so you guys can obviously go to different biomes put those in 
and put the materials you guys farm in those biomes into the chests and then bring them back to whatever village and if you guys want to make it more complex too obviously you can have multiple rail systems to different biomes this is by far one of my favorite ways to lug and move around the map fast especially with a lot of resources i think cars and airships are cool they're a lot of fun don't get me wrong but they're not too reliable so like i said there's a lot of different ways to move around the map quite fast but my favorite ways right now are using the glider and using a train or a rail system i have full tutorials on those on my channel so check those out if you guys want me to go in more detail the other methods are fun and they work but they're not as reliable and you're not able to actually lug around a lot of resources after you guys farm in different biomes they're only really fun for discovering new areas or just exploring and just having a fun laugh with your friends messing around but anyways though i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys do subscribe if you guys are new around here if this video helped you guys out in any way drop a like and uh we'll catch you guys in another video until next time take it easy my friends peace out